dogs toys is important stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks to get your dog's toys clean regularly and look for some signs that you may need to throw away that toy. Are you growing staph bacteria, mold, and yeast in your home and exposing your whole family to it? According to Consumer Affairs, the National Safety Federation study found the top 10 germiest spots in your home are pet toys. Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. If you're new to my channel, I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. My channel is all about dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, and nutrition. So if any of that is up your alley, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down there and give this video a thumbs up. In this video, I'm talking about, I'm down here on the floor in Kim's palette because I'm talking about dog toys. And it is really important, these things, dogs play with these with their mouths. So it's really important that we maintain them and take really good care of them, make sure they stay clean. <laughs> make sure they stay clean because they do go in our dog's mouths very regularly. So one thing I want you to do, I'm gonna go over a few different things, how to clean different types of toys and give you some tips. Because first of all, we know that dogs should not have any sort of toys that have removable parts, something that they can accidentally ingest, swallow, maybe get stuck or lodged in their intestine. So any stuffed animals that have like button eyes or anything like th this elephant right here, you can see it, it's just sewn on eyes. So your dog can't like chew those off, pull those off. And it's not going to get stuck in their throat or in their, in their intestines, right? So make sure when you're picking out toys, there aren't any parts on them that your dog could take off and ingest and potentially harm themselves with. You want toys like this, where there's really nothing that your dog can take off and ingest and get hurt with. Now, if you have a really strong chewer, you may have different types of rubberized toys. And I'm gonna go ahead and take Kim's toy basket and give you a little shocker here for one little 12 pound dog. She has all these toys. <laughs> and so today I'm actually gonna be going through her toys, making sure that nothing needs to be tossed going through to see if anything needs to be repaired. That's important because I do repair some of her toys and you know, sometimes it, it, let's see here, if I can find one that, like this one right here. I repaired this little doggy, and this is a, I mean, it's not a bad toy, but I'm just, I was trying to find some, oh, I know where they are. Kept these in a different spot. These are in the kitchen. So when you have hard or rubberized toys, like um, you've got this little treat ball here. This is a West Paw. Uh, toy. They are, I love West Paul by the way. I will link uh, down below to West Paul toys. So many of these, whether it's a rubberized toy like this or a stuffed toy like this, I love West Paul's toys so I will link them down below as well as some of my other favorite toys. Um, so, but you have rubberized toys like this or this one is also from West Paw or Kongs like this. These, so these you have to be very careful with. Sometimes the manufacturer will tell you that you can just pop these in the dishwasher. If the manufacturer has not stated that they are dishwasher safe, do not put them in the dishwasher because when you are uh, exposing different rubbers and plastics, things like that to heat, it can release chemicals that are not good for your dog. So as a rule of thumb, unless you know 100% for sure that the manufacturer has said you can throw it in the dishwasher, don't do it, wash it by hand. And what I do, even if the manufacturer says that you can throw it in the dishwasher, we don't use our dishwasher. We have never used a dishwasher. It's just not part of our regular routine. So if I'm not running the dishwasher for anything else, I'm not putting my dog's toys in there anyway. So what you do is actually soak these toys in one part vinegar, two parts water, and take a um, toothbrush. I keep a toothbrush in my little junk drawer that's right next to <laughs> the sink. And just take a toothbrush and kind of go in and out and make sure everything is all cleaned out in, in that um, vinegar and water solution. And then I'll take um, a natural 
scent-free dish soap and kind of go over it with warm water and dish soap and make sure I have it all cleaned out. So that, that's how I would clean these little rubberized toys or uh, treat dispensers like these. And there are all kinds of different toys that are made out of this type of material, especially from West Paul, like I was saying earlier. I know they have like Frisbees and different things. So make sure to keep those things clean because guys, your dog plays with their mouth. So if you think about all of the dirt and grime and bacteria and gunk that just starts to stick and stay on all of their toys, it's really pretty nasty. And then they're going and putting their mouths right back on it with all that dirt and gunk and grime. We just don't want that. So we want to make sure we are keeping up with their toys. Rubber toys that have been chewed down to where they have sharp edges need to be thrown away because they could very well be dangerous to your dog's mouth and stomach. So when you have toys like this, these are stuffed toys and they do have squeakers in them. My dog loves, Kim loves squeakers. So one thing that if, if you have a toy where the um, squeaker is easily accessible and you can remove it to wash it, do that. I personally don't have any toys like that, but um, I do take very, very good care to make sure that the squeakers inside do stay um, in good condition. In fact, if I have a toy that uh, gets a, a rip in it and I'm going to go repair that rip, I actually will pull the squeaker out from wherever that rip is and make sure it's in good condition. And if it's not in good condition, I just replace it. You can buy squeakers uh, online and I will link some below in the description. So they're really easy to replace. Even if you have to cut a hole in a toy and replace a squeaker, this one actually has like a tennis ball inside of it. So I probably shouldn't be holding that up. This is another one. You can't even tell that I have repaired this bone so many times and you can't even tell because I use green thread when I do it. This originally had one squeaker in it, and um, Kim loves squeakers so much that as I started repairing this bone, I actually replaced the squeaker that was in it and I added two more. So now this has three squeakers in it. It's not hard to do, and even if you're not good at sewing, guilty, like I'm not good at sewing, but you can't even tell, and your dog isn't gonna care anyway if, it, if a stitch doesn't look perfect. So <laughs> she wants her bone. She hasn't played with this bone in a while because it's been in the bottom of the toy basket. And that's another reason why you should regularly um, check out your dog's toys and clean them because you can also rotate them. My dog, like Kim, she hasn't played with this bone in months, and now she's super excited like she has a brand new toy. We've had this toy for years, by the way. but. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take, look at this one guys. This is like her favorite, one of her favorites. So you can see like the fox in the front, it's supposed to be like an off-white color, but look how nasty it is back here. This one is definitely going in the wash tonight, but before I do that, I'm actually going to take a mixture of um, just water and baking soda with a, a toothbrush and kind of go over these spots that are heavily soiled to make sure I get those clean and then, you literally can just pop these in the washing machine on, um, I use a cool water setting and uh, a gentle or delicate cycle is fine. Also, I like to put them in little mesh bags like this. So you have little, um, these, are, th these are laundry bags. These are laundry mesh bags. They're designed for um, delicate laundry, laundry that you may be using. And I do use these for my laundry as well, but I also use them for toys because I don't, even though like, a gentle cycle I don't feel is going to um, really damage her toys too much. I still, it just makes it so much easier. I know that I'm not like going to be collecting pieces, especially if you're going through and you miss that a toy has um, a tear in it and stuffing starts to come out, it's gonna be contained in one of these bags. It's not gonna get all over the inside of your washing machine. So that's another really good tip. And then when you do put it in the washing machine, make sure to use a gentle, natural, uh, laundry detergent, which you should be using for yourself anyway, scent-free, um, fragrance-free, dye-free, uh, all of that good stuff. I don't use um, scents, you know, I mean, they're, they're just not really good for you anyway because they're not natural. So just use a natural, gentle detergent, and instead of using fabric softener, add in white vinegar. 
So on that rinse cycle, uh, wherever you put your fabric softener into your washing machine um, so that when the rinse cycle runs, it releases the fabric softener. Instead of that, use white vinegar. So that's another uh, really good tip. It will help disinfect the toys as they are going through the rinse cycle. And then you can either lay them out to dry um, in the sun, which I have done before, and it takes a really 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 long time or you can again just leave them in these mesh bags toss them in the dryer on a low setting or just an air dry setting so there's no heat and run them until they're dry and make sure you always squeak the squeakers to make sure there isn't any water left in them so that uh, mold and mildew don't start to settle in the squeakers because that's not something we want um, so the other thing with rope toys rope toys are designed to be uh, really super durable. Let me grab one. Most of um, my rope toys, Kim doesn't really love them, so I take them to my clients' homes and they tend to either keep them or shred them. <laughs> um, but I do have this one. So this is an example of a rope toy and it's actually a rope ball uh, toy. So one thing you can do is to get your rope toy wet and put it in the microwave for a minute and that will disinfect it. I don't love this, but it is something that you can do. And also, and then when you're done with that, it's still gonna have like dirt and grime on it if your dog plays with it a lot. So just take it and throw it into the wash, put it in one of these bags, throw it into the wash with um, the other toys to get all of the dirt and grime off of your rope toys. So now what are we gonna do? We're gonna rotate our toys. Really, really, really good um, trick for you guys because some of these toys, like these bears, were in the bottom of her toy bin. So what I'm going to do is when I get all of her toys washed and repaired, anything that doesn't need to be, literally, I just sit down in the evening while I'm watching TV if a toy needs to be repaired. And let's see here. I keep like little parts and pieces that fall off of her toys <laughs> so that when I'm going to repair her toys, I can just sew them right back on and in the evening, I just take a needle and thread, and I try to use the same color thread because I'm a little OCD like that, but it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever thread you have on hand. And in the evening when I'm watching TV, I'll just sew things back together. I'll stitch up little holes if they need, <laughs> if it needs more stuffing. You know, I go into my craft stash and I pull more stuffing out and stuff more into any toys that may need more stuffing. And any pieces that may have fallen off, I sew them back on. You don't have to be a professional. You don't have to use super high quality stitches. Just make sure that it's on there good <laughs> and any holes are stitched up really nice and tight. Tie your knots, cut any loose string that's left and you are done. It is really that simple. So I'll show you some of that in the footage of this video as I'm doing it. And if you're not going to take the time to sew your dog's toys up, I totally get it. They're inexpensive, they're easy to replace. Just go ahead and toss them and buy your dog a new toy. And then when you're putting toys back away, some of the toys that she has recently been playing with a lot, which are you're gonna know because, well, you should be playing with your dog anyway, right? Like this one, she plays with a lot. This one she plays with a lot. I'm gonna put these closer to the bottom of her toy stash and then these that she hasn't been playing with lately, I'm gonna put them on the top. So she's going, to, we're gonna rotate and she's gonna feel like she has brand new toys again. And I know this works with my dogs. I have heard people say this works with their kids. So if you have kids, try this as well. And yeah, so we're gonna get all these toys cleaned up. I really, really hope that you guys um, this helps you in keeping your dog's toys clean. And let me know in the comments below what your dog's favorite toy is. I wanna see it. If you have a link to it, put a link in the, in the comments below. If you don't, um, just describe it for me and tell me what it's called. I would love to know what your dog's favorite toy is and how you keep it clean. And uh, let me know if any of these tips and tri tricks help you keep your dog's toys clean. And uh, Kim thinks I'm just teasing her this whole time <laughs> with all of her toys. She thinks I'm teasing her, picking up all of her toys. So we're gonna get all of these toys clean. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do it and get her toys back to their toy basket. And uh, again, post in the comments below. Let me know what your dog's favorite toy is. I would really love to know. Also, 
really, really great time to join my group. There is a link in my description uh, to join my group and that way you can join and then actually post a picture of your dog and their favorite toy. I would love to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope these tips and tricks help you and your dog get their toys clean, maintain them so important to maintain them to make sure your dog isn't putting really nasty dirty things into their mouth all the time and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you if you have somebody who has a dog and they could use the tips and tricks in this video make sure to share it with them hit that subscribe button when you do next to the subscribe button there will magically be a new bell that you can hit Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Also, there's gonna be another video popping up up here and is really gonna help you with your relationship with your dog. So I definitely suggest you click on this video and watch it next. And I will see you in our next video.